So I don't know if you know what a food stylist is, but um, a, a food stylist is someone that prepares food for photography. Um, so all of my, um, all of the images, all of the images in my book, um, I, you know, cropped them. I test, tested them, of course, um, and created the, created the recipes. And, um, and then I had a professional uh, photographer photograph them all. Anyway, so let's, let's make spicy maple syrup cookies. Um, now I understand you've got, you've got a kit with all of the ingredients, which is, which is great. It'll make it, make it so easy. And I guarantee you're just gonna love the smell um, in your kitchen when you bake these, uh, bake these cookies. So um, <clears throat> now what I, um, what I have learned in my, you know, in my schooling and in my test kitchen world is um, it's important to mise en place all of your ingredients. And you've heard everybody's a baker and they've heard that. It just makes it more fun. You don't have to worry about forgetting, oh my God, did I put the cinnamon in there? You know, so you have it, you have it all, all set up. You have your butter softened um, and, um, and then also, um, I want to show you my, uh, my technique for, um, measuring flour. Now it's important to, um, to kind of, to fluff it up. Now, can you see me doing this? I have it in a bowl. I have the flour dumped in a bowl and I'm just getting some air into it with a, with a whisk. And this is called um, scoop, scoop and um, scoop and sweep method. So um, you would get your get your measure, measuring cups and a and there is a difference between a liquid measuring cup and a and a, you know that too. Okay, great. So um, so you just you just lightly scoop it with a spoon. And then if you don't have, already have one of these, this is just the best tools. All the uh, food stylists can't do their job without this tool. Just a little, a little offset spatula. I highly recommend getting that if you're a baker. And then you just slide it across like that. And then you'll get a really accurate measurement of your flour. I'm gonna put that in here. I've got some already measured out. And, um, and also the same thing with your, um, with your spices. And it's important to, um, to, to use, um, um, to do the same thing, scoop and sweep with this too. All right, now, oh, and I was gonna talk about a little bit too about, um, about maple syrup and, and why why we are um, kind of celebrated right now. It is the time to um, the the sap is is about to start running, um, and it's uh, in in the process of doing my book. I I visited several um, sugar shacks. They're called. Um, these are maple syrup farmers, and um, there are. Uh, people in Michigan that have these beautiful stands of maple trees and they tap them and and it takes 40 gallons of sap to create one gallon of maple syrup. So that's why it's 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 on the pricey side. It's, it's expensive. And the the, uh, the process is kind of similar, but it's but you have to be really careful with, you know, with the temperature and um, um, it's just all about the, the, the temperature and of course handle, handling the syrup afterwards, making sure that it, it, stays, um, it stays clean. But once it's boiled down to um, maple syrup um, consistency, you know, it lasts, it lasts for a long time. And, but we do recommend that you um, refrigerate it after you, um, you open it. So, um, and I, I've got a couple of different examples of maple syrup here. For baking, I have found that just the, the robust um, 
and maybe the little less expensive um, maple syrup is is just fine because the there's such subtle differences between you know braid A and robust and B and everything, and once you once you bake with it, it, it really is almost impossible to um, to tell the difference. Um, so there we go. I am um, so. Let's get back to our, our mise en place here. So you um, cream the butter and the, the Crisco together and make sure that it's, it's soft. It's gotta be soft. Add your sugar and get that so it's fluffy. Um, and then your maple syrup. Now, one thing I've noticed too with um, when I have been doing all my uh, recipe development, that you can, you pour your maple syrup, you know, you put it, you'll measure it in your measuring cup, you pour it out, and then it, because it's, it's, it clings to the side, sometimes you can have as much as a tablespoon left in the container after you've poured it out. So make sure that you get a good um, spatula and make sure you get all that precious maple syrup um, into your into your into your recipe, and then another thing too that egg I, I recommend that you don't ever crack your egg right into your mixer. Always crack it into a separate bowl. Make sure you don't get those eggshells in there. Make sure that the the egg doesn't have blood in it or whatever. So that's that's a very important thing too. Okay, and then um, I like to put my flour. I don't know if you can see this in either a either a strainer or something like this um, sifter. Uh, sifter yes and then and then put all of the spices on top so you can so you can count the spices on top of the flour because sometimes you can get you know get distracted and you come back and you go <gasps> Did I put the cinnamon in there? Well, you know, is that in there? And, but then you can see it before you, before you sift through it. And then, and then if you use something like this or sifter, then your spices really get incorporated into the, into the flour. So I, I um, highly recommend that. And don't, don't, don't ever forget to put the salt. You only need a fourth of a teaspoon for this recipe. But if you don't put salt in, if you don't put salt in anything, um, it, that's what makes things bland. You, you can put all the finest ingredients in the world, um, but if you don't put salt in, it just, it doesn't taste it. Just the salt just kind of perks up your tongue so you can taste, you taste all the other, all the other things. Okay, and then, oh, a baking soda too. Baking soda, um, you know, if you don't bake a lot, you might have this, you might have this box sitting in your, in your cupboard and you don't realize that it has expired. Um, so, and it's not gonna work. There you go, yeah, check, check your expiration. Um, and then also, I just, I just read that um, because this is not a sealed thing, it's not a sealed um, box, it, it's, it's a good idea to put it into a, a container that is sealed. And then it will stay, it will stay as it will stay fresh as long as the date on there. Okay. So, all right, so I want to show you how I've got some, I've got some dough mixed up here, and I want to show you um, my technique for um, scooping, scooping it out and putting it on the baking sheet. Now these cookies. Now everybody has different baking sheets. Their oven heats up differently, um, and and all those all those different factors can can affect um, the outcome of your the outcome of your cookies. So I'm going to move these these things over here so you can see this. Okay. So I love 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 to use a small um, ice cream scoop because that helps um, make the cookies um, the same, the exact same amount 
So then they'll they'll bake evenly, but if you have one with it's much bigger than the other, then that's gonna affect, then the baking will be affected. Um, and you just scoop in there and and hold it up tight against there, against the edge of the of the bowl. So you got a nice flat side, and you just dump it into your um, your little bowl of sugar. Now this is just this is just regular sugar. It's not the the maple the maple sugar. We're gonna put that on later. Um, so you just put that on there, and there's enough with the standard um, size. Can I just um, interrupt for a minute? I'm sorry. Yes. Oh, it's just that I didn't. Your kits do not contain the maple sugar because okay. I budget couldn't afford it. Yes, <laughs> it's expensive. So you do have granulated sugar. Um, if you happen to have maple sugar at home, yay. Um, yes. but or, or like turbano sugar or yes, sugar. yes. Or, but yeah. yeah. But ma and the reason maple sugar is so expensive is is so it takes 40, 40 gallons to make one gallon of maple syrup. And then this is even less water. So there's no water taken out of it. So, I mean, it is a very strong flavor um, and it, you know, it lasts for a while, but yeah, it's kind of expensive. That's why, that's why I only put it on the top. <laughs> okay. Um, so I need to ask, do we grease the pan? The, no, the no, 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 just plenty of butter, Crisco in there, you're, fi you're fine. You're fine Thank with you. that. You could put it on parchment if you wanted to, but um, it really, they, if they pop, they come off really easily. Okay, so then you just roll it in there and you know put it on the flat side. I, can I, I ask a those. question. Can yes. I, can I freeze these before I cook them, or not? Because these. I, have, I haven't done that, but freeze they freeze. Well, like, they, they freeze really nicely afterwards. After, because there are 45 cookies it makes. I'm a person of one. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> I can't do 45 cookies, so I was figuring I'd make the balls, sugar them, and then put them in the freezer and freeze them in, you know, independently, and then take them out and do that. Oh, that, might, that might work. I'll, I'll, I'm going to test that too. That's a good idea. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. <laughs> okay. And then you just put them on there like that. And then just gently, gently tap them down. And the sugar helps so it does, they, don't, they don't really stick. And then, and then because I have the maple sugar, I'm gonna put that, I just put a little bit of that on top. And then it's ready to go in the oven. And surprise, surprise, I have some in there already. So here are, here are my cookies that I just baked off this morning. And you can see that they're all because we use the scoop they're all even evenly sized which is very exciting for a food stylist we like <laughs> we like our food to be pretty and then we have we have lovely um um even even crackling on the top too so i think i think that that makes it them look um desirable and um i just i don't know i i just love these cookies they're um because I like I like a chewy but kind of crisp on the outside um, cookie, and that's exactly what these are. They have really good flavor. You don't. It's not like putting flour in your mouth. Um, and um, and um, oh, here's my husband. He's stealing one. <laughs> um, anyway, um, and another thing I did this this um, Christmas um, was I. Um, I when we were little, we always had we always had specialty ice cream, and I had just made these made these cookies. So I got I went out and got some vanilla ice cream, and scooped it um, scooped it in between, and then kind of pushed them down, and um, it was really good. <laughs> it really it was a, it was a special treat for uh, for Christmas Eve. 
Anyway, all right, so, and then you can just leave them on the pan, leave them on the pan for just, you know, a minute or two so they're, so they don't get misshapen um, as you're pulling them, you know, pulling them off. And then just use a, um, um, you know, a thin spatula and, you know, cool them on a, a cool them on a grate and, uh, and then you're good. And it makes, yeah, it makes like a little over three dozen cookies, which I think is a nice, nice amount. So any questions? See, so Carol, you know, it makes a nice amount of cookies for sharing as well. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're muted. We can't hear you being sassy. <laughs> Does that mean that tomorrow you want a delivery? Yeah, no, there will only be like four librarians in the building tomorrow. So that's maybe more cookies than we need on a Saturday. Okay. <laughs> I will individually bag them and drop some off tomorrow. That's lovely, thank you. We like the individually bagged treats. Oh, uh, absolutely. It makes us feel loved. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, so I see a couple of you are definitely baking along. I know Carol is. Linda yeah. and Ken, are you baking along too? And Janet, I keep seeing you with a bowl, so you must be baking. The rest of you were clever and muted your cameras, so I can't see what you're up to. <laughs> All right, I guess no one has questions. Oh. No, they look phenomenal. Um, I know that I received a question in an email. Someone wanted to know if she didn't have maple syrup. Would she substitute something like honey or would it be too sweet? Mm. Honey, honey is, is pretty interchangeable. Um, and molasses is interchangeable, but you have the molasses in the, um, in the brown sugar uh, yes yeah hmm because i know that like this is a different chemical kind of balance there yeah, i don't know i have not okay I, I i guess i can't i cannot speak to that because i haven't um uh -huh. I, I have not tried that because of course I will, I will tell her to experiment and report back yes there we go if it works well i'll let you know it should be good it should be all right because the maple syrup but it won't have that good flavor yes i don't um, have that maple flavor to it right what about like Cairo syrup or something like that white molasses that would white molasses or dark molasses would have that more molasses yes. yes molasses and uh, and maple syrup are interchangeable but yeah, yeah maybe more like, like a, but a real dark molasses i think yes that would, that yeah, would have yeah. Taste. more like a gingerbread i think yes. at that point yes exactly yeah, yeah. So can you, if, you, if I don't have a, a recipe with maple syrup, can I like leave out some sugar and, you know, like make half maple syrup and half sugar? Are they? Yes. 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 Those are, those are ancient. And I've got that in my book here. Let's yes. see what the exact thing is. And it's a better, it is a better sugar for you. It's got, because regular sugar has nothing. But maple syrup has minerals and, you know, it's sustainable, it's natural, it's, um, it's, it's a beautiful thing, right? And it's also, um, the glycemic value of it is less than, um, than regular sugar. So, you know, if you're, if you're a diabetic, I'm not saying that you can use maple syrup instead of sugar, but it is, it's less, um, it's less toxic. Oh, let's see why I don't have those numbers. Let's see. <laughs> I don't want to give you any. Here we go. Okay. So one cup of sugar, for one cup of sugar, you can substitute three fourths of a cup of maple syrup. On one cup of honey equals three fourths a cup of maple syrup plus a half a cup of sugar. Okay, 
and um, and and maple syrup can, like I said, can be substituted for molasses uh, for a one-to-one -one basis. But mm -hmm. um, but like I said too, you know, I mean, don't be afraid to buy maple syrup because it lasts for you know it'll last for a year, and um, and it's it's good for you. And you'll see, and if you get my book, you'll see lots of other ways to use it. <laughs> And these are all tried and true. These are, the recipes were chosen um, by friend, you know, my friends and family. I, I would before I determined what recipes I was going to put in. I you know to ask them you know how do you use maple syrup? What's and I got some great I got some great um, recipes from them that I then you know tested and combined with other recipes and um, so it's it's a good thing. <laughs> I know I was skimming through your book and I did I mean it's right on the cover as well the the maple syrup um the salmon because mm -hmm. I've made similar things and I've eaten them at restaurants and it's always a really nice combination yes yes because yeah. the, the sweet and the sour you yeah know, the sweet sour and the fat you know yep. there's, there's nothing mm -hmm. there's nothing like yeah. that yeah yeah that's always good yep and this yeah the salt mm -hmm. oh yeah all right. and it's all like good food too so yep. yeah all good for you yep all yes. those omega threes <laughs> <laughs> all right so do we have any more questions or should we just say thank you any questions no oh, looks like everybody's busy now I see you know, bowls and whatnot. Yeah, and you know what? If you want to uh, give people my email address, oh, yeah. if you have any questions or whatever, and sure, sure. Um, and, no, um, and if they're interested, and they're interested in buying the book, we can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. If you like it that much, yes. I always say if you enjoy a library cookbook, because I personally like to test out cookbooks from the library before yeah. I decide to buy them, but yeah. invariably I end up buying them because I just, yeah. I like cookbooks. Yeah. So yeah, uh, it would make a great gift. That's yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. How yeah, come it's so dry? Find it for you. <laughs> you have a question? Yeah, my uh, Janet's mixture looks pretty dry and crumbly. You want to hold up one? Uh. I don't know. Is, is that supposed to be like that or? Hmm. Oh. It looks like an apple crumb. Seems like a little, that seems a little dry. Did you put the, you got the egg in there and the maple yes. syrup? And, and the okay. shortening, you had to add shortening. Did she add shortening? did that. That was, that was one of the first things. Shortening and um, the Butter. maple sugar um, mix all together. Then you add the egg. You needed both. You needed both. Oh, the butter. You get, did you get butter in there? Softened butter. Was, was that that was in the little container, right? Um, I guess I'm not sure. The the, the yes. little container was shortening. Was no butter. butter. And no butter because it's not shelf stable. Oh, so I need to add butter shortening. to this thing. Ah, yeah. yes, yes. That, yeah. That's why. That's why it's crumbly. Oh, okay. So what Got I it. would do? Yeah, uh, yeah. Put them all back in there and put the butter, the softened butter, in the bottom of your your um, mixing bowl yep. and then make sure it's soft and then just add it to it and then it should be good. Okay, got it. How much All right. Oh, how much butter was there? Uh, fourth of a cup. A fourth of a cup. Softened, yeah. All right, thanks. Oh, good, I'm glad you asked because yeah, they wouldn't have turned out as well. Good. Oh. Yeah. Ah, that would have been great. I thought food. that was butter or whatever, the, or vegetable. Yeah, mixture. it's it's butter flavored shortening. Okay. Right. So it, it's that's like, but you also need the butter with it. Got it. For X, you know, moisture and deliciousness. And it's about yes, nine to you. eleven minutes. Is that what what you're thinking? Nine to eleven minutes. Or yes. Yeah. Check it. But you know what? I would check it just because um you know because the differences in. Check it after eight minutes. Take a peek at them after eight minutes. Okay. Celine, see, here they are. They're going oh, they look, that looks good. Looks good. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll just... All right. Thumbs up on that. All right. Okay. 
I think we're done. Carol's been to several of our cooking programs already. Very and good. She's not afraid to share her opinion. So well, she knows she knows a good thing when she. I think mean, this is that's like a sweet deal, right? Yeah, you know, it is. The it ingredients is. and the yep and the fun of making something new. It's great. Yes. Oh yes. And maple oh. syrup is great. I go up to Vermont. My son went to school in Vermont. So we go up to the uh, cider mill and we get fresh you know, the, the maple syrup. But my problem is I'm a diabetic, so I can't use it that oh, much. Is yeah. real good sugar-free maple syrup? Oh, yeah. So these yeah. are a treat. I've got my sugar-free maple syrup here, cheater, because oh. I, I can't use the real stuff all the time. Right, right. So. But look, I mean, I'm not suggesting that you that you eat it, but you should, you, should check it is it does have a less of a glycemic mm. in it than, than um so if you're if you're choosing between sugar and maple syrup you you, you yeah you maple syrup. but the maple syrup uh, crystals oh, those to die for again going oh, yeah. to vermont, going to the the vermont country store and a few other stores you know i have it and oh, it very good. a long time and this thing was like eight dollars but it's yeah. you know it is what it is. You yeah. you, once in a while, you do it as a treat. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. It does. It, it is a it's good stuff. <laughs> For sure. All right. Anyone else? I keep forgetting I'm muted and try to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> I think you have more practice for that. I just wanted to say thank you. This You're has welcome. been really great. I'm glad that you said yes when I invited you. Yeah. And I, I look forward to your next book. Okay, good. Yep, yeah, Strawberry. And and I'd be I'd be happy to do a do a session like this in the spring on rhubarb. We we won't no. say no. Okay. Because rhubarb is excellent and it's one of those things that once you get it growing successfully, you kind of find yourself inundated with it. Yes. Yeah. So new uses for rhubarb is definitely a plus. Absolutely. Whereas, as you said, the maple syrup, you buy a jar of it, it keeps for a long time. So you don't have to find yourself going, oh, what am I going to do with this giant bar of yeah. maple syrup? But yeah. you look at your rhubarb plant and you're just like, that's a lot of rhubarb. Yeah. 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 And then, oh, another thing too, you know, like she mentioned that she goes up and, and, and watches oh, yeah. the, yeah. the maple syrup um, happening. And you're part of the world, they, you know, they have it or, or in me, I think Vermont is the, the biggest, it's the most maple syrup is, is made there. Yeah, and, so we um, do produce it in Connecticut. We have sugar shacks. Yes, yes you shacks. do, yeah. yeah. Oh, and another thing I did, I, I, I meant to, to say that it was the um, American Indians or the Native Americans that taught us how to harvest maple syrup, mm -hmm. how to mm -hmm. make maple syrup. Okay. And supposedly, the legend has it that they may have even served um, maple syrup at that at that first uh, legendary uh, Thanksgiving. Mm. So that's, that's, that's very interesting, right? Well, we do fair. have a it's program. <laughs> we have a program coming up in a few weeks uh, with a woman who's written a book about the true history of classic New England foods. Oh, so great. I'm sure that she can give us some more background to the maple syrup. Yeah, She's going to talk about baked beans and uh, clam chowder and just a bunch of the things we associate as New England classics. When did they actually become classics? Uh -huh. Whose recipes were they to begin with? It's just going to be fascinating. So yeah, oh, we'll make okay. sure to ask her about syrup. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. That because yeah. it really is just it, it's just produced. It's not produced in, in mm -hmm. Europe. It's just oh, yes. in northern mm -hmm. Canada and Vermont yeah. and you know over to Minnesota, but not much much lower than that. No, where, no. Where are you, Corinne? Where are you? I am. I'm currently in Arizona, oh. but I'm just here six months of the year. I'm originally from Minnesota. Oh and, my God! Um, and then I and I, but I raised my kids in uh, the Chicago, Chicago land area. So you're used to cold. So these. Yeah. Oh things. yeah. Oh yeah. I'm used to the cold. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, thank you again so much. I will email everyone with your contact information. Okay. Um, if there's anything else you want to add, or we'll just wrap it up.
well, it was it was a pleasure, a pleasure meeting all of you, and um, and let's let's do it again. Let's do yes, rhubarb. Yes, let's Sorry. definitely do rhubarb in the spring. Yes. Okay. All so, right. So I'll get in contact with you again. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, hopefully everything will be calm by then yeah. as well. And most of us will be having vaccinated at least once. Yes. So, oh my God, maybe oh, in the fall we could have face-to-face -face <laughs> programs again. Oh, wouldn't that be amazing? All right. Oh, All right. Good. Have a, a right. lovely Thank weekend. You well, and Thank you. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Happy baking, everyone. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.